morning everybody welcome back to another Mole Man episode I am back in Branson Missouri we're on Lake Taney Como I think that's how you say it uh, we put in here at Lily's Landing we rent a boat been done this for a few years now and uh, we're here to catch some trout so I just rigged up our poles I'll show you uh, when we get to our spot how we fish for these trout and uh, we're here to catch rainbows so Beautiful morning. I started about an hour and a half late because it's been pouring down rain all morning. Uh, and the fog's just now starting to roll in. So we're gonna get to our spot and start fishing. And I'll see you when we get there and show you how we do it. Alright guys, we're pulling up to our first spot. I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to make this drift right here. I'm going to show you what we're using. So I got a just a little rod and reel combo. Um, we got four pound leader. We got a hundred ounce jig head with a little uh, pink worm. And then we got a float about six or seven foot high and we're going to cast out just like Alan just did and we're gonna float down with our floats and uh, wait for them to bring that float under and yank them out of the water I want to get a little closer in if we don't get bit on this drift I say we go a little deeper fish on that took about uh three minutes to get the first fish give me that net feels like a good one. Oh, it's a big one that's a good one There we go. Oh, beautiful. That's big compared to the yeah. ones we got last year. Heck yeah. All right, you fish. Set them down. Beautiful trout. Man, they're cold. Him in the live well. Sweet. Doubled up. Oh, get the net. Got him. Sweet. Oh, this is so much better than going with a guide. In the live well. Cast it back out and drift down. This one? Missed him. You're about to get hit. You're going right where I was. Dawn. See if we can get four again. There we go.
We're gonna catch one under this dock. He smoked that. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Oh my gosh, that's a giant. <laughs> that's a big one right there. Oh, I just got smoked. Dang it. Yeah, that's a two pound fish. Ready? Yup. He's not. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's a jumbo. Oh. That's awesome. Beautiful. They didn't turn off, did they? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alan just said, I think they turned off. Well, I don't think so. Put his nose in the corner. 17 and a half. 17 and a half inch trout. That's awesome. Look at that. Put him Pretty in the fish. in the live well. There we go. One more for our limit. Sorry. Ah, little guy. Let him shake over the water. Ass fish to our limit so guys we got our limit probably in about an hour hour and a half maybe and uh, we're headed back to the dock, so we're gonna go clean these up and cook them up for supper. Alright guys, I'm going to show you all how to clean a trout. We're going to fillet them. Uh, we're going to do them on the grill. So, it's real easy. Just cut down. And then you want to run your knife through those ribs. All the way down to that tail. There's one fillet. Same on this side. There's two. This goes down the hole, and I'll take the skin off. Just like that, and I'll cut our ribs out. And there's a trout fillet. So we're going to clean the rest of these up, and then I'll see y'all when we start cooking. All cleaned up. Filets. All right, guys, we made it back to the place that we're staying at. It's really pretty out here, and they have some community grills. So I'm going to get this bad boy fired up. 
and uh, I don't have any foil so we opted out and we're using a cooking pan so I got some butter some lemon and some trout fillets and I'm gonna show y'all something very special that's not released yet I'm gonna let y'all get a look one of the new mullet man critter glitters and this is our Cajun look at that so we're gonna do a little taste test of the new Cajun on some freshly caught trout y'all stay tuned it's not on the website yet but it will be very soon so I hope this works out I've never cooked fish on a grill on a cookie sheet we're gonna try it and see how it turns out I like trout but I like trout smoked and make fish dip out of the trout so we'll see how it is grilled but you add butter lemons and some critter glitter to anything you can make it taste pretty good so we're gonna season this up real quick and uh, let me get the cap off here and then we'll start cooking dust these guys off y'all are gonna love this flavor profile it's like lemon spicy oh it's so good put some spice on there and that is it we'll throw these bad boys on the grill and i don't think it's going to take them very long at all to cook up so we'll let them do their thing i gotta figure out how i'm gonna get this uh cookie sheet off here without any gloves All right, I'm gonna carefully try to get this pan. Oh no. Got it. Probably the best looking trout I've ever seen on a grill. Not gonna lie, this looks amazing. And like I said, I've never really enjoyed trout cooked like this, um, unless it's smoked. But let's give her a whirl while she's nice, fresh and hot. Take a piece. One out of 10, freshly caught rainbow trout. That's the best trout I've ever had. That's wild. Wow. That really does not even taste like trout. I don't know what, I mean, nothing's really different. I didn't do anything different than I normally do when I cook them. That seasoning is bomb. Man. I just think I just changed my mind on grilled trout. So clean. I made sure to get all the bones out. Mm. I'm giving that like a solid 9.6 for a trout. I would honestly put that up against my trout dip. If I were to get five or six people to try it, I think they would like this just as much as my trout dip that is awesome well i hope you guys enjoyed today's video a little uh trout fishing i love doing stuff like that where you can go back year after year pretty much any time of the year and know that you're going to catch fish uh that simple rig that we use with four pound mono uh, a little slip bobber a little 100 ounce jig head and a little tiny pink worm and we just killed it i love it so hope you guys enjoyed it uh you may see another video here from branson missouri if y'all are from branson missouri leave it in the comments uh it's a beautiful place and i love it here so i'll see you guys in the next one y'all stay tuned we got three new seasonings coming out um and they should be released on sunday's video so y'all stay tuned for sunday's video uh, and you don't want to miss out because there's a good chance we're going to sell out of these I hope not we stocked up we made sure we were stocked up for the big release but uh, just to be sure y'all get on there and order uh, as soon as that video goes live but I'm not going to put them live until I upload until I put them in the video releasing the new spices so we're working on a package right now where we can do 
uh, a six pack. Uh, we're working on a package to fit all six of them. Um, but for now, we're just gonna do individual bottles and then I think we're still doing like the two bottle bundles so you can choose two. So y'all stay tuned for that, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. And remember, eat good.